Okay, so let's take a look at components and how we can clean up this screen a bit so that we can reuse them in in the following screens. Let me just tweak this here. And okay, so let's take this text, this, and create component. Let's name this uh, location and time and we can also come here and add a background and no we don't want to include it and we don't want to include this in the export just so that we can see more easily what's the text visible here and actually you put this okay. okay so let's go back to our main component so main screen and let's the, the weather icon I don't actually want to make it a component um, this is for now and let me take the main Weather information. Let's see, yeah, that's this centered. Yeah, so let's take all of this and what? Yeah, I'm doing. I'm doing a screencast. Yeah. Okay, so let's create a component, right? Good idea. So let's call this um, uh, I know. Uh, weather info, and we can do the same here. We can add a background so that it's easier to see. And okay. So now let me just this and we can see how we can overwrite this component so all we have to do is go inside the text that we want to change and we can rename this to for example Porto we can say the same here we can say that's you know, 10 degrees Chili, maybe. Wearing a sweater. Okay, whoops. So this is not properly aligned. So let's go into the master and see what we can do here. Okay, so let's. Use the opportunity to fix this. So the way to fix this is just by pinning the text to the to the center in terms of horizontal uh, layout. So now it should be should be all all centered here, which is which is nice. So let me just take the opportunity to. Just use a different icon here for our weather. Okay, so let's take this to artboard one. Let's use this. Instead of the instead of the other one. The other icon that we have. We can actually change this. Maybe. No, let's let's leave it like that. And okay, so we have all of this. Let's add a new artboard to exemplify um, 
I can I can customize the components a bit more. So let me just click on A, artwork, and I want to create. Go with this. Actually, let's let's go with white. Make it completely different. And we're going to click on the component um, icon here, and we have access to our library of components, which we can actually search for. So if we have a lot of them, this will save us some time and it will actually be very helpful. So let's copy this here and let's go back to our artboard. Now I'm going to use the rectangle tool. Draw something here. And I can, I can actually uh, move things to to the front and to the back from the actual artboard, which is something really nice, which I don't think it's uh, actually available in, in in Sketch, for example. So let me add a color here. And I'm going to copy this. No, not this. This. Actually, this is the one I want. That's alright. That's alright because I can actually use this to exemplify. So let's let's take all of this and let's actually make this um, all of this a new component. Let's re rename this uh, location list. Okay, and we can actually, now we can actually uh, insert more of them. And now, if I want to actually edit this icon, uh, I can't because it, it it won't allow me to to do that. It's not um, so components are not as flesh out as for, as for example symbols in in Sketch in terms of what can be customized or not. But if I wanted to, for example, take take this one, I could uh, detach the component. So now it's not going to uh, be um, connected to the original one, so I can come here and take this icon out and replace it. But the disadvantage is that it's not going to be um, connected to the to all the others. So that means if I edit the location the list component, if I change this to you no. Know, this, for example, so all of them will be updated as expected, except that one which is detached from the uh, from our list. So that's something to uh, to take attention to. Let's put this here. Add this. Actually. Add We have this background and actually have a different. Let's go back to this blue. Okay. But you know, I could eventually um, do a bit of a customization here. So I can take this, this one. Take a good example. 
this. This one. I do seventeen. So I could check. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. Okay, so these are all the locations. And uh, I guess you could, no, okay, let me add some different locations here, actually, because all of this is Lisbon. So let's go into our actual text. Let's say Porto. And let's say Farm. Completely different locations, and they're using the same icon. I know. But let's let's roll with this for now. So all of these are using the. So this is how we can customize and use, you know, components, and we can uh, um, a bit better. 